Hey, I'm going to actually start first with a quick little update here. Uh, earlier this morning, the president spoke with President Putin. They had a uh, very good discussion, spoke for uh, a little over an hour. They discussed um, nuclear agreements, both new and extended, uh, with the possibility of having conversations with China on that front as well. Um, they discussed trade and the fact that it has increased between the two countries since the president uh, has come into office. They also talked about North Korea. Uh, they also spoke about Ukraine and Venezuela and overall a very positive uh, conversation. And uh, we'll have a more detailed readout coming shortly, but wanted to give you guys that update while I was out here. Sir, Steve. What, the message? what are the details of this new nuclear Is it a new nuclear agreement with China, Russia, United States? Uh, there was a discussion uh, about having um, extending the current nuclear agreement, uh, as well as discussions about potentially starting a new one that could include China as well. Ever be enough. The Democrats have no message. Their only option and their only strategy is to the president discuss at all the findings of the Mueller report and Russian interference as it was determined by that investigation? And did he also discuss some of the land-based defenses first, in Europe? Uh, very, very briefly. Uh, was discussed uh, essentially in the context of that it's over and there uh, was no collusion, which I'm pretty sure both leaders were very well aware of uh, long before this call took place, something we've said uh, for the better part of two and a half years. Um, and now they moved on to talk about those topics that I discussed with you. We just, we just, up on Russia. Did, did Putin relay any message to the president from Kim Jong-un after Putin and Kim met? Uh, during their summit? Uh, they spoke about uh, North Korea for a, a good bit of time on the call and um, reiterated both the commitment and the need for denuclearization. And the president um, said several times uh, on this front as well, the need and um, importance of Russia stepping up and continuing to help uh, and put pressure on North Korea to denuclearize. And that was, again, the, the focus Sarah, of the president's Sarah. comment on that front. Sarah. Steve? Sarah. Engage in a peaceful transition. I, I'm not aware of any planned uh, meeting upcoming for the two presidents. There was a meeting at the Pentagon this morning with the president's uh, top-level uh, national security officials about Venezuela, apparently looking at military options. Has the ball moved on that in the past couple of uh, as we've said uh, all, all along, all options continue to be on the table. Uh, we're looking at a number of different fronts. I don't have any new announcements or change in direction. Uh, we continue to stand with the people of Venezuela, and the president is continuing to push for aid to be delivered uh, to those people. Uh, beyond that, I don't have any updates, but all options continue to be on the table. And the president, the president's going to do uh, what is required uh, if necessary. Russia's been very supportive of the Maduro regime. Did the president make any progress on getting them to step off that support or help with the transition? Uh, again, the president reiterated the need for a peaceful transition and uh, his focus uh, throughout the conversation was on the need to help the people and make sure that the aid was actually getting to them and being delivered. Take one, take one last question here. Has the White here. House formally instructed Don McGahn not to comply with congressional requests? Uh, I'm not aware of a formal uh, conversation on that front. Sir, Thanks, guys. Who initiated this call and is, is it any closer to these uh, President Trump and Putin meeting for a summit down the line and then Secondarily, what was the response from Putin when the president talked about the need to engage in a peaceful transition? I, I'm not aware of any planned uh, meeting upcoming for the two presidents, but I do know that uh, Secretary Pompeo is expected to meet, I believe, with his counterparts next week. And those conversations uh, after that, we'll see what happens Which from there. Sir, response was, though? So you said that they, they talked about the Mueller report being over, but the Mueller report also outlines in extensive detail attempts by Putin and Russia to interfere in the election. Did that not come up at all? In the uh, again, the, the, the conversation on that part was very quick, but what I can tell you is that this administration, unlike the previous one, takes election meddling seriously, and we're going to do everything that we can 
and to prevent it from happening. That's why we've taken a whole of government approach. We have, have had contact with all 50 states and are looking at ways to actually prevent it from taking place instead of like they did in 2016, just letting it happen, knowing about it and doing nothing and then trying to blame it on the incoming administration. We're not going to let that happen. Uh, and so we're going to actually be serious and take our job seriously. Thanks.